Click subscribe to get latest news and don't forget to press the bell icon. When confronted by facts, the ridiculousness of leftist positions always becomes clear. For months now, the beams have been pushing this Russia collusion story with no conclusion in sight. With each passing day, the public gets more fed up. One prominent black conservative is making it a point to tear down the fake liberal narrative. Radio host Lawrence Jones destroyed a Democrat talking head by getting him to admit he didn't even know what violations supposedly occurred in the Russia scandal, according to Fox News. Lawrence Jones didn't have to try hard to humiliate Democrat radio host and activist, Richard Fowler. Liberals will convict themselves if you let them talk long enough. They ooze empty-headedness. The two were debating over Jared Gushner's remarks concerning Russian collusion. Fowler saw this as an opportunity to continue talking points, the laundry list of smears against the president, his administration, and his family. Jones didn't let him slide. He asked the one question that needs to be repeatedly asked any and all Democrats who bring up this Russian nonsense, what is the actual statute that was violated? Fowler was taken aback. That's when this Democrat zombie made the confession that shattered the entire leftist charade, that could be campaign fraud. It could be some sort of violation. I don't know what the violation is. None of us do. That's why there's a special counsel. Bingo. That's the statement that has seen Americans laughing at the circus the Democrat Party has become. The teams and their media accomplices are out there shouting treason. Impeachment. Collusion. On a regular basis. What's the actual crime that was committed? What's the statute that was supposedly violated by the Trump administration? Oh, we don't know. We're investigating to find out what law was broken. Is that the way justice works in America? In what kind of country is a person accused of wrongdoing without being told what the crime is? Only in a banana republic. Only in lawless dictatorships can political rivals be declared guilty with a convenient crime fabricated later. That's exactly what the Democrats are trying to do with Trump. Richard Fowler was caught red-handed admitting it. The entire leftist plot against our president is now on full display for the whole country to see. Fowler says the role of the special counsel is to find what laws have been broken. We call shenanigans. The proper role of the special counsel if one were actually needed should be to know what law has supposedly been broken and study the evidence to see if it happened. It is the same with any crime. Jones correctly pointed out that none of this was done for Hillary Clinton. In her case, we know exactly what laws were broken when she employed a private server and deleted 33,000 emails, and there's evidence of a cover-up. Neither Democrats nor Republicans in Congress seek to do anything about Hillary Clinton. It's disgusting. Fowler is right about only one thing it was Deputy A.G. Rosenstein who formed the special counsel. That's why Rosenstein and all the other Obama holdovers in government need to go. We can't have all these Obama appointees sabotaging Trump at every turn. Our president needs trustworthy loyalists in government. Drain the sewer, President Trump. The American people are with you.